All right, Steve again with StarQuestParts.net. Trying to make these videos for you guys. Come on now, give me some likes or some shares or whatever you're supposed to do with these videos that uh, my kids know a lot more about than I do. So anyway, uh, this time I'm just gonna show you a couple different things. Uh, the cluster hood up here, you have to remove this cluster hood. Maybe yours is all cracked up. Um, you know, sometimes the leather on these gets in really bad shape. You can just replace this top cluster cover. It's basically a few different pieces. It's a top cover, it's an inside um, uh, casing, and then it's these light switch assemblies for your headlights. Now, this is one of the things I get asked for the most. When the headlights don't work, these switches get all bound up. Uh, the springs fail in them and they just stop working. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to replace all of this. So whether you have to replace just the top of this or if you need to replace your switches, it's kind of the same process. So super simple. All right, first thing you got a uh, screw on either side up underneath the uh, each one of the light switches. So those are both Phillips head screws. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove those. Same thing over here, don't need to zoom on that. Then you have, if you look here, you've got recessed screws up here in the top of the casing. There's one on either side. This is best if you just use a plain old long uh, Phillips screwdriver versus a um, impact gun or something because they're kind of, they're angled up in there. see the totality of it. Second one. Getting dark out here in Virginia, guys. Here's the second one. All right, that's all you got as far as that's what's, you got four screws holding in this top assembly. So you're just gonna basically shift it around a little bit. And you have two cables, harnesses, go into each one of these light switches. So pretty easy, pop these off, press that retainer, pop it off. This one is kind of tucked back in here. You have to untuck it from behind the cluster, undo it, boom. As you can see, like two and a half minutes and you got your whole cluster off. So um, if you need to replace your, just your headlight switches, all you're gonna do is turn this thing around and you've got, two Phillips head screws holding each one of these in. So then these literally will just pull out from the front and you can replace these one by one and nothing else has to come apart here. Um, I say be careful with that when you do though because when you start removing the screws out of this internal casing, if you kind of do it quickly and you start pulling on stuff, everything's gonna break because it's 80s Mitsubishi plastic, which we all know it wasn't the, uh, wasn't the best, but is what it is. So if you do need to replace this top portion, you can just disassemble all of this. It's just about, I don't know, seven or eight Phillips head screws, and you just put it back together the same way it came apart. There's nothing really to figure out there, okay? So very simple way to go ahead and do that. Um, if you ever need to remove your instrument cluster for any reason, um, I won't go ahead and do that right now, but it's very simple. You have a Phillips head screw on either side here of the, of the cluster itself, and then um, you have an eight millimeter nut right there, same thing on the other side. Then you just jostle this back and forth. This almost feels like it's glued in, but it's not. It just has a lot of tension right there on those, on those uh, studs there. So you just pop this off and you've got two harnesses to unplug in the back that you can get your hands down to. And then lastly, you have a speedometer cable, which there's really no slack in, but all you need to do is basically take your finger. There's a little, uh, there's a little blue tab. You just push it and you start pulling on it. It'll pull right off. So three more minutes to go ahead and get this instrument cluster out if you ever need to or address a speedometer cable replacement or something like that. So a total of less than 10 minutes, you've got this whole thing taken apart. Um, last thing, Bennett, step over there. A lot of people break, it's just a little thing I'm gonna add to this. A lot of people break these when they take them out. The proper way to do this is you have three mounting points. There's one, one, or four mounting points here and they're clips. You just basically have to pop the side of the clips this way. So if you hit, don't try to pry up. If you try to pry up, you're gonna break it. You just need to push the side of the clip and that way you won't break the clip and you also will not put a hole in your door sill. I get these all the time where people need to replace them because they pried up this way, try to pull this directly up and they'll crack this right in the middle. Just push it from the side. You won't have any problems going ahead and getting these out with your clips intact. In so. Um, 
All right, I'll think of something else to show you guys. That's just a couple quick things for now. Thanks for looking, www.starquestparts.net. I'm Steve, holler at me anytime. Thank you.